space. Solar System. A solar system is a group of stars, planets, moons, and other celestial bodies, such as comets and asteroids, that orbit around a central star. Solar means sun, so a solar system is a sun system, or a system where the sun is the center. Like galaxies, solar systems are held together by gravity. Earth is part of a solar system in the Milky Way galaxy. Our sun is the central star in our solar system. Our solar system is made up of comets, asteroids, meteoroids, moons, dust, planets, and other celestial bodies. Everything orbits, travels in a circular path, around the sun. An orbit is the path one object travels around another. A planet is a large ball made of rock or gas that orbits the sun. Our solar system has eight planets. Atmosphere is the layer of gas, like hydrogen, oxygen, or carbon dioxide, that surrounds a planet. A moon is any natural object that orbits a planet. A satellite is any object, natural or made by humans, that orbits a planet. So a moon is a type of satellite. But a man-made space probe is not called a moon. It is a satellite. Did you know Archaeus of Samos was the first European astronomer to notice the sun was stationary? Did you know in the 16th century, Nicholas Copernicus proposed the idea that Earth was not the center of our planetary system. Earth and the Moon Named after an old Saxon word for ground, Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Like Mercury and Venus, Earth is a rocky planet, the largest of the four inner planets. The land on Earth has deserts, valleys, and mountains made of rock and soil, but the planet's surface is mostly water. Earth is made of three main layers, the crust on the outside, the mantle underneath the crust, and the core, the center of the Earth. The core is divided into an inner core and an outer core. We live on Earth's crust. Earth is over 7,900 miles in diameter, and it is 93 million miles from the sun. Earth turns completely on its axis every 24 hours, which we call a day. Earth orbits the sun every 365 days, which we call a year. Earth's moon is made of volcanic rock. The moon has no air and takes about 27 days to orbit the Earth. When we look at the moon night after night, the moon appears to change as it rotates around the Earth because we can only see the parts of the moon that are reached by sunlight. Earth often blocks this light. Did you know Earth's wobbly axis is steadied by the presence of the moon, a unique relationship that gives Earth a stable climate? Did you know scientists believe an impact between Earth and a Mars-sized object created the moon four and a half billion years ago? Jupiter. The fifth planet from the sun, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is the first of four outer planets, planets beyond the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Jupiter, along with Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, is made of gas and has no solid ground. These four planets are called the gas planets, or the gas giants. Because Jupiter is so enormous, it has the strongest gravity of any planet. This means that it keeps more moons in orbit than any other planet. Jupiter has at least 50 moons. Its two largest moons are larger than Mercury. The large orange and white clouds around Jupiter make it look as though it has stripes. The orange clouds blow in one direction, and the white clouds blow in the other direction. Jupiter has a permanent hurricane-like storm that is very large. Scientists call it the Great Red Spot. Jupiter rotates on its axis about every 10 hours. It spins so fast that it bulges at its equator. It takes nearly 12 Earth years for Jupiter to orbit the Sun. Jupiter is almost 87,000 miles in diameter, and it is about 484 million miles from the Sun. Jupiter has three rings and gets its name from the Roman King of Gods. Did you know, scientists cannot agree, Jupiter's gravity either protects Earth from comets or pulls more comets toward Earth. Did you know, pictured are the pieces of the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 that collided with Jupiter's southern hemisphere in 1994. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It is the last of the inner rocky or terrestrial planets. 
Mars is often called the red planet because rust color, dust, and rock cover its surface. Like Earth, Mars has an atmosphere. However, the atmosphere around Mars is too thin and there's not enough air for humans to be able to breathe. It is also made of carbon dioxide, which is poisonous to humans. Mars has large volcanoes, one of which is three times taller than Mount Everest. Mars also has a canyon that is longer than the east to west width of the United States. The canyon on Mars makes the Grand Canyon look very small in comparison. Mars turns completely on its axis every 25 Earth hours, and it orbits the Sun every 687 Earth days. This means that a day on Mars is about as long as a day on Earth, but a year is almost twice as long. Mars is 4,213 miles in diameter, and it is almost 142 million miles from the Sun. Mars has no rings, but there are two orbiting moons that might be captured asteroids. Mars gets its name from the Roman god of war. Did you know exploration rovers found that Mars once had liquid water at the surface and underground? Did you know NASA's Phoenix lander found snow falling from the clouds and ice made of water in the Martian Arctic? Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet, and because it is the closest to the sun, it is extremely hot. The side of Mercury that is turned towards the sun can be twice as hot as a kitchen oven. The side facing away from the sun can be as cold as negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit, three times colder than Antarctica in the winter. Devoid of air or water, Mercury has lots of craters, bowl-shaped holes, that were made when asteroids crashed into it. Scientists believe that Mercury is made mostly of metal. This makes Mercury very heavy, one of the heaviest planets. Scientists think that when the universe was formed, the planets were flung out with the lightest ones traveling the farthest and the heaviest ones staying closer to the sun. Mercury turns completely on its axis every 58 Earth days. This means that one day on Mercury is as long as 58 days on Earth, but it only takes Mercury 88 days to orbit the sun, while it takes Earth 365 days to orbit the sun. Mercury is over 3,000 miles in diameter, and it is almost 36 million miles from the sun. Mercury has no moons and no rings. Mercury gets its name from Mercury, the ancient Roman name for the messenger of the gods. Did you know Mercury is only slightly larger than Earth's moon? Scientists think it is possible that ice exists in Mercury's craters. Did you know NASA's messenger orbiter flew by Mercury three times before becoming the first spacecraft to enter Mercury's orbit? Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and it is the fourth largest planet. Neptune looks blue because of the amount of methane in its atmosphere. It is more methane than Uranus, which is why Uranus appears greener. The winds around Neptune blow as fast as 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune has a great dark spot that tells us there is a storm in Neptune's atmosphere. This storm is like a cyclone, but it spins counterclockwise and is called an anticyclone. It is a moving storm that is about the size of Earth. Neptune is so far away from Earth that it took 12 years for Voyager 2 to make the journey. Neptune turns completely on its axis every 16.11 hours and orbits the Sun every 165 Earth years. It is about 30,000 miles in diameter and is 2.8 billion miles from the Sun. Named after the Roman god of the sea, Neptune has 13 known moons and five rings. One of its moons, named Triton, is the only moon in our solar system that orbits its planet in the opposite direction of the planet's orbit. Triton has pink ice caps at its south pole, and unlike most moons in our solar system, it has an atmosphere. Did you know Neptune's great dark spot moves at 750 miles per hour and is large enough to contain Earth? Did you know Neptune was the first planet located by mathematical predictions rather than observation? Saturn. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, is one of the four outer giant planets made of gas. Saturn is so large that it could hold more than 700 planets the size of Earth. Saturn looks yellowish because its surrounding clouds are the color of butterscotch. Saturn is nearly as big as Jupiter, but weighs about one-third as much. Best known for the thousands of rings that encircle it, 
Saturn is so light that if there were an ocean large enough to hold it, Saturn would float in it. Saturn's rings are made of millions of particles, tiny pieces, of ice, dust, and rock that are held in orbit around the planet. Like Jupiter, Saturn rotates very quickly. It turns completely on its axis in about 11 Earth hours. It takes nearly 30 Earth years for Saturn to orbit the Sun. Saturn is 74,898 miles in diameter and is 887 million miles from the Sun. Saturn has 53 known moons, one of which is larger than Mercury, and thousands of rings. The planet Saturn gets its name from the Roman god Saturn, who is the father of Jupiter. Saturn's largest moon is named Titan. Did you know the Cassini spacecraft mission to Saturn discovered new rings, new moons, and Titan's methane and ethane lakes? Did you know NASA Cassini discovered icy jets and geysers at the south polar region of Saturn's moon Ecladius? Uranus. The seventh planet from the sun, Uranus looks blue-green because of the chemical methane in its atmosphere. It is the third largest planet in the solar system and four times the size of Earth. Uranus is called the sideways planet because it is tilted on its side. This gives the planet an odd orbit. Its north pole points toward the sun for half its orbit, while its south pole points toward the sun for the other half of the orbit. Scientists believe Uranus may have been knocked on its side when a huge planet-like celestial body crashed into it long ago. Uranus has rings that may have been formed when debris was knocked off during this collision. Like Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus rotates very quickly. It turns completely on its axis every 17.24 hours, but it takes nearly 84 Earth years for Uranus to orbit the Sun. Uranus is 31,518 miles in diameter, and it is 1.8 billion miles from the Sun. Uranus has 27 known moons, which are made of ice and rock, and 11 rings. The largest moon is half the size of our moon. The planet gets its name from the god Uranus, the mythological god of the sky, who is also Saturn's father. Did you know most of what we know about Uranus was learned in 1986 from NASA's Voyager 2 mission? Did you know that Uranus's closest moon is Miranda? Its irregular surface indicates that it may have partially melted. Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is almost as large as Earth and is covered with white clouds that are made of drops of sulfuric acid. Brighter than any star in the sky, Venus is often mistaken for a star. It is hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the sun, because the clouds surrounding Venus trap the sun's heat on the surface, much like the lid on a pot of boiling water traps the heat. One unusual aspect of Venus is that it rotates or spins backward. This is called retrograde rotation. On Venus, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. However, the clouds on Venus are so thick that you wouldn't be able to see the sun rise and set. Venus turns completely on its axis every 243 Earth days, but it only takes Venus 224 Earth days to orbit the sun. This means that a year on Venus is shorter than a day on Venus. Venus is more than 7,500 miles in diameter, and it is more than 67,000 miles from the sun. Venus has no moons and no rings. It is named for the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Did you know, although Venus has an iron core, the planet rotates so slowly that it cannot generate a magnetic field like Earth's? Did you know probes that land on Venus can only last a few hours in temperatures hot enough to melt lead? Comets and space debris. A comet is made of dust, gas, and ice. The dust is made of metal and rock and the ice is frozen gas. Comets come from far away, circle close to the sun, then go back where they came from. Asteroids are rocky chunks that orbit the sun. They can be round or irregularly shaped. Asteroids are also called minor planets. Meteoroids are smaller pieces of celestial debris. Comets create many meteoroids by leaving particles behind. A meteor is the light we see when a meteoroid burns up in our atmosphere. Meteors are also called shooting stars or falling stars. A meteorite is a meteoroid that lands on Earth.
Did you know, as a comet nears the sun, ice vaporizes and solar wind pushes the mix of dust and gas into the shape of a tail?